rid of no that's not what i'm saying at all what i'm saying is that instead of buying new cars we need to reclaim the cars from the 1900s as you so eloquently put it and reclaim them for everyday functional use get them back to restored condition and then drive them forever you can't be serious like that glorified jetta that you drive start over all i'm saying is all these cars from the 90s especially the german ones they had a lot of problems a lot of baggage and if you re-embrace the car you're re-embracing all of that and it doesn't make a lot of sense to me yeah no, i disagree i disagree the only way to re-embrace these cars is to what yeah don't finish that thought it's to almost be toxically psychotically positive there's too many flaws to take any real creed in them and i don't think it's worth it personally oh, hmm. okay sort of like those prescription drug commercials right because they have the guy on there and he's saying what the medicine can do for the user and then he goes through like all of these horrible horrifying side effects like this may cause hot dog fingers golden retriever face it's like good but it's all said in the same positive tone no not exactly no no I, no i get it. yeah i see what you're saying i think you're right upbeat music all coming through a lobotomized stream of consciousness strictly given through a miasma of nostalgia have it dripping with it bro that is that is not a headspace you want to be in get yours now on cassette or compact disc. dead bolted so how do i get out passengers and there are drivers the 90s it's the 90s the 90s i listen to pure moods while i merge slowly and kill the ozone layer but there's no fuel warning light so when you run out of diesel you get to bleed the fuel lines on the shoulder of the interstate now the EPA says you'll average 44 miles per gallon in this. But I can tell you that under careful driving, you can scrape 50. I once drove 900 miles on a single tank of fuel. And that's thanks in large part to its huge 18 and a half gallon fuel tank, which at almost $4 a gallon casts a subtle pall over your fill up experience. Look at those numbers go. Yes, I do, and no, it isn't. But if you want to get that last gallon of fuel into your Passat, simply reach your fingers physically into the trapped fuel in the filler neck and move the flapper valve over to the side. Volkswagen shipped the car with a part that's only suitable for gasoline models. The engineers actually just looked at it and said, it's fine. Why? Who knows? The B4 Passat uses a central locking system that's both fragile and overfill, out of plastic and vacuum lines. You'll know your Passat is securely locked when you hear the sound of a cow mooing at dawn. And we can't stress enough how complicated the central locking system is on this Volkswagen. I can roll down all the windows and unlock the doors just by inserting my keyblade. Rolling down those windows until the cows come home. And what's more, Volkswagen tied the operation of the fuel door to the same brittle, fragile locking system. Why? Who knows? We have no earthly idea. The seat fabric feels amazing, but the seat bolstering, it'll give you hemorrhoids. The rest of my car is in above average condition. Cup holders, they're for weak people. Keep your eyes on the road, fat American. But you could get dealer installed cup holders, but they were flimsy, insecure, and afraid of commitment. This contraption represents what's left of a dealer installed accessory cup holder. The stains below, and there are many, represent repeated critical failures of the dealer installed accessory. Most likely the owner removed the contraption himself because one man can only take so much. Hun, I love you. I love you.
of you. Do you want some coffee? No thanks, I'll grab some on the way to work. I once drove my Passat from Kentucky to Boston for our 10 year wedding anniversary. And that's how I know she won't leave. Are you taking the Jetta to work today? I need the car seat. <laughs> I wouldn't know, we don't have a Jetta. Uh, the white one. But the powertrain is as strong as the central locking system is weak. One day, I parked my Passat on my side of the street, and then I left it there for 14 months. And then one day I came back. I put a battery in, and I started it on the first turn of the key. Like it never even happened. Then I moved my Passat so the neighbors wouldn't report me to the county. my nine years of ownership, I've only had two check engine lights four years apart. Both times, I simply restarted the car and the light never came back. Can I help you? No, Mike. And you wanted 90 brake horsepower? You got it 28 years ago. That's good for zero to 60 in just 10.3 minutes. What's up, man? Yeah, I'm gonna head out. Are we taking the Passat? Definitely not taking the Jetta.